this young man on the open floor. Just can't finish. UK's having a hard time at the basket early. Well, this is a track meeting. In spite of the icy road. A five-year plan. Homeboy or not. Yeah. Two fouls now on Hagens. And uh, remember early, Nick Richards also picked up a couple of personals. Four out, just trying to give this young man some driving and has done a pretty good job on the mission. A good look there. Cunliffe again, Barry. Right there. Not really in rhythm. Raises up, makes a play. Another one of their talented freshmen. You can tell though, Paul Evansville, you know, made a couple of shots early. Now they're playing with some confidence, man. That's what you like to see. Come in and take advantage of this outstanding opportunity. Oh, well, he's an outstanding group of guys, man. And I think he's got a good collection. Obviously missing E.J. Montgomery. And as we talked about in the open, they're a little thin up front. That's going to be challenged even further tonight with the foul trouble in the bridge. Sistine has been very, very good so far in three, two games for the Wildcats. Pretty quiet. And nobody in Kentucky has not had an opportunity to take advantage. Paul, I always like to see out of a timeout, this is an opportunity for Coach Bacardi to get what he wants. Looks like what he wants is number 20 to make a play. You see everything turns into five out. Trying to penetrate, get a little penetration so that you can get some help. Wow, what a move. Just a blow by. Quickly, keep going, keep going. Drive through contact. That's what he did right there. Got a good look at about four feet. Playing with a couple personal fouls. Let's come here to go to the free throw line and look at him. I'm not jumping around. Just be big. Just be big. Williams to inbound. Both teams out of timeout. Immediately the foul is taken by the way. It'll be a one possession game. Cunliffe. Now two fouls. Kentucky with no timeouts. And now a three point advantage.